Good morning, everybody. Today is September the 18th. Uh, Dr. Vong here with your quick COVID update. And as expected, yesterday the FDA did approve booster shots for those 65 and older and for those immunocompromised, but not for everybody. Just 65 and older and those immunocompromised. Kind of like what I said they would do. Not much of a surprise there. Um, and recent papers show that Moderna is really still very effective. Uh, Pfizer shot uh, has a little bit of waning protection, but still very good against severe disease. Um, and the jury is still out about J&J. &J. Now, we had 165,000 cases here in the United States yesterday. 670,000 American deaths. We are reaching, getting close to the uh, 1918 pandemic death total here for the United States. Probably underreported, quite honestly. Um, and uh, the hottest states remained unvaccinated ones. Tennessee, West Virginia, Idaho. I mean, these are states with, we're talking 40, less than 45% vaccination rate. You know, 40% in some places. Mississippi has taken over as one of uh, the leading uh, COVID death spots, death rates, as in dying. <laughs> death as in dying. I don't get it. And today... On a Saturday, you're going to see people gather 70,000, 80,000, 90,000 people strong to celebrate a fucking game, the game of college football. It's going to be crazy. So I don't know what to say, honestly, anymore. Just because they don't mandate masks means why wouldn't you wear it? See, that's what people say. They'll sit there and argue. They'll be like, no mask mandates. You know, it's up to the parents. My kid, I'll decide, you know, like. Uh, my body, my choice. I get to decide if I'm going to wear a mask or not. And then they don't wear a mask. Like, what? <laughs> Why wouldn't you? You got to remember, these are the same people who will eat Tide Pods. I mean, not so smart, you know. Um, these are people who think it's funny to, like, piss on a, on a wired electric fence. <laughs> If you never peed on a electrified fence, you just wouldn't get that reference. If you've never been cow tipping, you wouldn't get that reference. Stay safe, everybody. Stay masked. Um, the science is coming in about this. I think, I think we'll have another. Um, this is going to be one big surge, you know, all through. I think through the holiday season. And as quickly as possible, we need to get vaccinated. Now, the question becomes, Dr. V, do I need to wait 90 days? If I have COVID, do I need to wait 90 days before I can get my vaccine? You know, there's really no, no real data to support that. And um, I think there's, there's two camps. One camp of doctors will say, wait 90 days. Another camp of doctors would say, dude, don't don't pass up an opportunity to get vaccinated. So I would say whenever you feel kind of like your normal self, get vaccinated. And the funny thing, the reason why I say don't wait is because it turns out, you know, for long hauler syndrome, which could be up to 30, up to 50%, five zero of people with COVID could have long hauler syndrome. They're still looking at that. But it turns out one of the possibly one of the better treatments for long haul syndrome is to actually get vaccinated, which makes sense. Makes sense, you know, help, help your body fight off this extra inflammation that's happening. So, um, I would rant a little bit more about college football, but I think we kind of all know the craziness, you know, I just don't get it. It's that we are still in a pandemic. These people that are going, oh, it's endemic. It's here to stay. You got to live your life. Like, oh, or you can die. <laughs> or you can die. It's not endemic yet. We are still in the middle of a pandemic. In fact, we are in the start of a surge. So, and it's going. We still have a lot of lives, unvaccinated lives left. I was looking at the vaccination rates, you know, Alaska, Idaho is like 40%. You know, Wyoming is like 40% vaccinated. It's on fire, man. It's on fire. Ohio, Indiana, all in the 40s. West Virginia is one of the least vaccinated states. Georgia. 
So if, if you live in any of those states and you're not vaccinated, I would tell you go get vaccinated as quickly as possible. Remember, it takes two months. So if you get vaccinated today, you're talking at the very, like you're talking maybe, maybe you'll be ready for Thanksgiving. Maybe, right? All right, love y'all very much. See you again tomorrow for another COVID update.